Hello folks, here's more of the best games from Ludum Dare 48, all on the theme of Deeper and Deeper. And check out the playlist for more videos in this series, Tonk! Um, and do remember to subscribe to Randomize User to get involved uh, with the best indie games out there and all that. Uh, right, we start with Crypt Raider, also known as Deep Crypt Robber for some reason. Oh my god! So in this game you have to rob crypts. Oh, hello. Yeah, there's a secret thing back here. It contains nothing but skeleton. Ha! Huh. Got there a lot of lads. All you have to do is escape, and each time you come to a new level, it gets more and more complicated. Okay, so on the trail of Captain Hook's magic eye patch. Now we've actually got some rocks to worry about. And also, whoa! Spiky floor. Right, so we need to find another way through. Let's try through here. Anyone home? Any skellies? You look like a skelly. There we go. Perhaps through here. I can hear cackling. Why is someone cackling? Ooh! I don't know if this is the right way here. Ooh, skellies. Ooh, skellies. Ooh, there's one up there and all. Here you come. This, this is a one hit and you die game as well, so you've got to be careful, especially when there are like three skeletons coming at you. They will keep on coming back, so we need to keep moving. Ooh, quick. Ooh, oh lads. Okay, down here, down here, down here. Ooh! They followed me! Go! They're behind me! Ooh! Stay back! <laughs> Ooh! Right, so what we'll do this time is go the right way first time, which I think is down here. And if there are fewer things following me, this hopefully should go a bit better. Get you. Come on. Here we go. Oh my god, there's a lot. Here we go. Right. Okay, so we... Ooh! Okay, we might have to go down here. <laughs> we can't! We looks like we have to we have to go back the way we came. Oh this is different. Okay. We may be safe to go this way. Or do we? I think we can go down there. Yes, that oh my god, that was terrifying. Sir Julian someone someone's perfume. Died of sleep deprivation. Ooh. Oh that was easy. Oh! Been tricked. Well, I'm out of here, lads. I'm, lo I'm a bit lost here. There's a lot of routes to take. Right through here. This looks This looks upwards. Yes. But then what? Oh, we're going down again. There doesn't seem to be many skellies around here at the moment, so we're getting away with it somewhat. We're okay? Hmm. Yeah, look at that. Look at that pit of doom. I think... Yes! So this is surprisingly good frantic fun. I like this a lot. This is Corpse Clue, where we're investigating a corpse and we need to search for the words. Hello, mate. There you are. We can zoom in, we can zoom out, and we have different uh, things we can actually use. To investigate some clues. So let's... Let's have a go with torchlight. I've found one clue so far, so let's let's start there. Look, I found the word shall. Talk to Edward. So let's input the word shall, because that's what we found. Great, you found one word. I think there is others to find. Right, okay, so we need to use the other things now. So let's see. Let's, let's zoom around the place. Oh, hang on, I, I, think, I, I think I saw something. Just tilt my head. G... N? That's all I can really see. I'll stick to the bloodline now. It looks like a Y, but I don't think it is. I think you have to zoom in quite a bit in some cases. Maybe... Hmm. V and A. We just... We're getting little letters here and there. There's an L and D. Vald? Ah, here we go, look. Rise on the hands like a tattoo, maybe. Hmm. Great, you found a word. I think there is others to find. So we found shall and rise so far. That sounds a bit sinister, as far as, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Try to maybe like fill in some gaps. It looks like I. There might be an I there. I something V A and then a big gap and then L. Maybe something. Let's try invalid. 
This won't, this won't even slightly work. <laughs> Speculative at best. Oh, I feel stupid. <laughs> I've only just found these controls. Aha! There it is. The, the something shall rise again. Oh! Vlad! Oh, it's him! Let's try that. Yes! Something must be happening now. Go look. <laughs> nice. This is Fallen Shovel. This is a platform game where you have to go deeper and deeper. You start out in heaven and you end up, well, go through the circles of hell. Um, just like in a few other games that we've seen in Ludum Dare 48. Um, you have two jumps in this. I'm currently using the charge attack to go really high. And you've also got a double jump. And if you land on enemies like that, things happen. I.e. they die, which is good because they're pricks. Even though they're only like nice little birds in this in particular level. Oop, careful. And you can't go through the locks. So let's go around here and around here. This is a very colourful game, just um, admittedly not yet, because <laughs> apparently heaven is fairly monochrome. Oh god, I got got. Ooh, okay, let's let's actually go back up. Get that heart. There we go. Just so we will actually make it out alive. Go down here. We'll have to make our way through down here and escape going down. And we're, we've reached Earth. So inevitably, because we're materialistic shallow pricks, there's cash everywhere. Yes! Let's get the cashy poos! More cash! More ca- Uh-oh! Spikies. And I've just jumped in the spikies like an idiot. Uh, we can't go through this bit of dirt. This bit of dirt is not for the likes of us. So let's go over here. That's spikies again. Oh, it's getting tougher already, this. Right. Down. It's starting to get a bit more majorly, this. We've got some scran. Okay. Food replenishes double jump. Okay. Huh. 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 Nice. Okay, we'll need to do a charge jump here. There we go. Right, so there's some bonus stuff to the uh, up here. There we go. Get that in all. I'm not going to bother getting the cash. Because I'm not good enough <laughs> to face the trials and tribulations. Going down. And now we're in purgatory. Uh, those horrible little... Oh, here we go. Thankfully, the explosion does hurt him. So we need to go down here. Oh, careful. The lost is coming. No, that's Isaac again, isn't it? <laughs> right, careful. Now, can I land on these? Yes, we can. Thank God for that. Okay. It certainly seems to stop them for a while. Oh, God. This is going to be tricky. Right. Donk. Yeah, they are in sort of invulnerable. Going down. Oh, it's the lust. And I'm dead. Uh, yes. Um, I get destroyed by love in this game. Huh. There we go. Nice. Not so nice. Crafty old me is going the left hand route. Huh! Yes. Down here. Uh oh, where am I going? Where am I going? I'm fine. Oh, gluttony! It's food for days. Not food for days. Apparently, food now kills you. <laughs> Shit. Alright. Tricky little game. Alright, down here. Down here. Down here. Oh. Game! Hup! <laughs> and pointless hup! Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? We're fine. And greed. Don't touch the money, presumably. Yep. This is all getting very kind of Rubik's Cube-esque in colours. Through here. Nasty. 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 Fine. Huh. Don't! So it's a neat little platform game. This is oddly satisfying to play, even if it's wildly unfair in places. <laughs> but hey, what the hell? This is Wiki Vortex, where we're trying to navigate through Wikipedia, aiming for certain words that we'll find on the page. In this case, poem, newspaper, and disaster. We've got ten steps to do it, and we're starting at Operation Teardrop at random. And this is one of two games I've seen which is using a similar sort of uh, go deeper and deeper into Wiki sort of um, feel to it. And let's see if we're going to go for well, let's go for newspaper maybe. No, oh, or maybe disaster. Let's go to let's take one of our steps to World War Two because that was fairly disastrous. Poem, newspaper, or disaster. If we get to W.D. Auden, then we can have a poem, World War Poetry. Um, let's see. I don't suppose there's any um, poetry section of war. Right, let's, I'm going to try and chart my way through to newspaper. So I'll go for Europe. Oh, hang on, what's this? Oh, this is European theatre. Oh, dear, that's not ideal. 
That's not ideal. Um, how about you? Okay, here we go. UK, this is what we need to do. And let's see. There's got to be. There's bound to be something about media here. I mean, look. We've got the Times. There we go. Completed a quest. Newspaper found in national newspapers published in the United Kingdom. Ten extra steps gained. Right. So now we need to find poem and disaster. Ah, uh, hang on. Boris Johnson. That'll that'll lead us to disaster, won't it? Blimey, it really isn't very far to go from and Boris Johnson to cronyism, political corruption. So we're in New Zealand now. I've gone to the geography section because I reckon I can get some uh, something like a volcano or um, <laughs> or something. Oh, here we go. Plate tectonics. Earthquakes. Yes! Disaster found in natural disasters. Uh, funny that. Now, just, all we need now is a poem about the disaster. Well, look, there's um, a section about in culture. Here we go. Popular culture. Pop culture. Songs are kind of like poems. They're just noisier. Well, book a prize. Maybe we can go via there. Try and find some other prizes. Some sort of poetry prizes. Literature festival. Yes. Come on. There's got to be some poetry here. Judy Dench, where's your poems? Terry Wogan, where's your poems? Was the Tempest a poem? <laughs> I'm, 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 get, get, game, I, fa I found it. it. But it's not counting it. Come on, that's a, that's a bloody poem. That's, that's, that's the word poem. How close can, closer can we get? God damn it. Hang on, go here. There we go. Poem found in mock heroic poems. Ten extra steps gained. And we've done all the quests. This is Disposal. It's a rock hard little game, this, where you have to control the acid. And because it's continuously flowing and getting more and more, and you just need to f find where to put it, essentially. So I'm going to quickly just... Hang on. Go over here. Go over here. Go over here. I'm just going to make a load of a load of space. Some of this stuff is well, you you can't you can't actually destroy it, so we've got to be careful. Hmm. Hang on. Go run, 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 run. Okay, there we go. So I got hurt a little bit, and you can tell that I'm not at full strength because my, my face came off, or <laughs> the, my face covering anyway. So let's go over here. Oop! Gotta be careful. Right, it's coming towards us now, it's going to start overflowing, so what we'll do is we'll go over here. Here we go. And it's going to overflow into that great big overflow of ours, so now we can be really getting ahead of ourselves. Um, I think I may have buggered that up. I think the water can follow me. Oh, it's okay, it's going to the left. Some of it's not. Some of it's following me. Uh-oh. Quick. Oh! Okay, there we go. My face came- well, yeah. My, my hood's come off entirely now. Thankfully, it all seems to be going mainly t the other way. New tactic. I'm going up. <laughs> that should hopefully... Yeah, okay, that should sort us out. If we could just keep on doing that, that actually might just work without having to, like, um, fanny around doing too much platforming. I think this is basically how you do the game. I think the only really difficult part of this game is the very start, because it's very easy to get overwhelmed very quickly there. This is Nestance. It's a 3D and a 2D game in a kind of like a minigame style. So let's have a bit of a look around where we are. And we can't get out at the moment. Pick that up. And we can't get the saw. It's locked to the wall. A wooden something. Can't get that. Right. Use batteries. Oh, here we go. Yep. Apparently I picked up some batteries. Right, we're going to the TV. And we've entered this new world of 2D-ness. So off we go into the um, distance. Oh, there's a key. There's a key. And I think that's all we need because... We wanted a key, didn't we? we? Wanted a key for the door. Right, here we go. Back the way we came, into the static. And time to go fight Dogma. No, no, hang on. That's <laughs> wrong game again. And let's see. Key? Oh, it's changed to two nesting dolls. Oh, I've obtained the saw. Okay, yes. So it looks like we may need to use the saw in the telly again. Right, Spit. Right, so now we've got the saw. Let's see what the saw can do. Got to be careful. Still got some spy keys. Oh, carefully does it. And cut. Use the saw. Nice. Right, turn on this screen. Boot up Windows 3.1. And now we're doing a little driving game. Okay. So I do remember this from when I first played this a few days ago. Um, stay at the back. There's no point in going further forwards. Might as well give you as much time as you need to actually see what's going on ahead of you. And, oops! We've got the telly wagon. Ooh, sh ooh, alright. Um, key get. You got the key. 
And now we're going back, being chased by static. Thankfully, there aren't many cars on the road, but we have got a key on the roof rack. Right, here we go. Now we've got a, a, another key. With any luck, this will be a bit more dory. I do like these weird, sort of like, unexpected minigame type games. Like little establishing a narrative and all that through unpredictability more than anything. And we have beaten it. Thank you for playing. Okay, that's it for this selection. For more in the series, check out the playlist in the description and on the end screen. If you want to say thanks for the videos, and leave a like, spread the word, maybe drop me a tip on buy me a coffee. And see you next time!